What's going on everyone? This video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be all about me going down to Boise, Idaho to film with Bodybuilding.com. I did five workout programs for them and so that video is going to be all about that. So if you're here to watch a workout, I would wait until the next video. So when I went down there, I vlogged consistently but I didn't vlog very long each day. So this video is going to be uh, made up of those two weeks when I was down there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. When I let you go What is going on everyone? We're here in Boise, Idaho. Day one of filming with Bodybuild.com. We're filming for 10 days. Let me give you a little house tour. So I leave Austin, Texas and it was 80 degrees. Come to Boise. There is snow everywhere. This is just so awesome. This is my home for two weeks here. I uh, got an Airbnb, a little house. I told Bodybuild.com I'd rather be in a house than a hotel for two weeks. So I'm pretty behind today. So let me give you a quick tour of the house. So you walk in right here. We have a living area right here. It's freezing outside. I don't know why I kept that door open. Have my little workstation right here that I'm editing some videos on right now. The kitchen area where you know I do all my cooking. I don't have much food. We go back the hallway. We have a bedroom here, a bedroom here. Not really a bedroom. This is where I play my video games when I'm bored. We have a bathroom here, another bedroom, and my bedroom where I sleep. We have a bathroom here, and then in the garage, let me show you in my garage, my vehicle that I'm driving, they gave me a Jeep Wrangler. I was not complaining. The one that I rented was like a Ford Escape, I think they said, but they rented it out and he was like, would you like a Wrangler? And I saw all the snow on the ground. I was like, perfect. That Wrangler will get me anywhere. So that is what I'm driving and I need to get out of here because I'm supposed to be at bodybuild.com in 10 minutes. Just wrapped up at bodybuilding.com, day one out of 10. We did shoulders all day today. Oh my gosh, it was so exhausting. Didn't do any talking today, that's gonna be next week. So I did each exercise four takes. So I would do one set and they would record me and then I would repeat that four different times. So it was pretty exhausting because I had like 36 different exercises, shoulder exercises. Now, loading up my Jeep Wrangler. So now I need to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. One hour later. So now I'm back at my Airbnb. Got dinner. I went to Subway, got a foot long. This is a turkey breast sub with everything on it. I get every single vegetable on it. It is the best way to do it. And then I got some pop chips while I was at the store. So this is just like lower fat than most chips. It's only like three and a half grams of fat and 20 carbs per one ounce. And regular chips, you'd probably be getting around, I don't know, 12 grams of fat. Then I got a Diet Pepsi right here. Man, today was a tough day filming. This is gonna be so hard doing 10 days of this, but looking forward to it, it was really great. Uh, you know, I work with a great team at bodybuild.com. They're all like very professional. So, it, you know, it goes by relatively quick. It's just very hard doing every single exercise that I wrote up for these plans. And you know me guys, I do so many exercises and so many drop sets and supersets, so it's super hard to film. So I need to shut up because I can eat my sub. I am absolutely starving. So just got done eating. I did not eat all those chips, by the way. I know some of y'all are probably thinking he ate all those chips. No, I did not. I'm gonna save them for another day. Let me show you what else I bought at the store. 
don't laugh at me or don't judge me here, okay? So, look, I got a TV. So, this is like a 55 inch TV. It was here at the house. I didn't buy this. But, I brought my PlayStation to play video games on. And if any of y'all have played video games on a 55 inch TV, you know how it is. It lags a whole lot, especially with first person shooters. So, I went to Walmart and bought a monitor. This is a 27 inch uh, computer monitor. It's a curved monitor here. So I bought that just to play some PlayStation here because Shelby is not here. So I'm gonna be bored here at night. I am editing a lot of videos and stuff, but when I'm not and when my brothers are on, I'm gonna jump on there. So that is the reason why I bought the curved TV. A few moments later. Now I am having ice cream. I have a Halo Top. This is the candy bar. So this is like low calorie ice cream. This is probably one of my favorite flavors they have. Some of them I don't really like that much, but this whole pint is 360 calories. So not bad macros for one serving, which is half a cup. It's like three and a half grams of fat and 16 carbs. So. It's pretty healthy and I'm sitting here editing my video. I'm so far behind in editing. Uh, I got a lot of footage. I just haven't had the time to edit. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna play any video games. And then I'm gonna head to bed. It's right now seven o'clock. I'm gonna head to bed probably around 10 o'clock because I need as much rest as I can get uh, to help rebuild these muscles because I'm tearing down so much muscle uh, working out and doing each muscle group for around eight to nine hours a day. It's not like that taxing on your muscles. Like I don't think I'm gonna be sore because I get so much rest in between takes. Like, you know, I do a set of like maybe 12 reps or something and then I'll set it down for about three minutes when they set up for another camera. Uh, but then I have to do it again. So I do that three to four times. But resting in between there, I don't think it's enough to get me really sore. We'll see. Uh, I'm thinking about the second day. If I'm gonna get sore, it's gonna be on the second day. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy some ice cream, and then in a little bit, head to bed. So like if you're like shooting at nighttime. Taking a small break here for a little bit. This is a setup. I got screens everywhere. There is at all times four cameras going on. That, I believe, is the, no, this is the main camera. This is where I do all the demos, and this one's, these two are the ones that go around all over the place. And another one is on a gimbal. So that's a wrap on day three here at Bodybuilding.com. We did a little bit of back. We finished off on maybe like four exercises on back just to kind of get ahead. And then we did chest pretty much all day long. And I think I'm gonna be so sore from chest. All the other muscle groups that I've done so far, which was arms and shoulders, I'm not sore from. But I promise you, uh, after doing this many chest movements and going to failure so many times, I'm gonna be so sore. So I'm not sure if it's gonna hit tomorrow or the next day, but it will come. So came back to my place. I took a shower, changed clothes, and now I'm headed back out the door because I need to go get some dinner. Uh, I had Subway two days in a row and I don't want Subway anymore. So I'm gonna go get some teriyaki chicken uh, from a place and that's gonna be dinner. I hope I got my keys, I always do this. I always have to like check twice because I know I'm gonna walk out, lock this door, and then not be able to get back into my Airbnb. So we're gonna go grab dinner and then come back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat it at the place or not. I might just bring it back and eat it here so I can uh, edit a little bit more uh, while I eat. Picked up the food, now I'm back. Let's see how delicious this food looks because it smelled so good. So I got double chicken and double vegetables uh, in a bowl. So there it is. It's probably so high in calories because of all this sauce. I was trying to get something a little less carbs than like a Subway sandwich, but I think this might be just the same amount because of the sauce. Now the rice, I don't think there's that much rice in it. But because of that sauce, it might be just the same amount. It doesn't look all that big, actually. I was hoping that it'd be a little bit bigger, but oh well, I'm sure it's delicious. And then I got a Diet Pepsi right here. And then I'm gonna edit some more videos. Fun night.
Oh, good morning, everyone. Today is day four of the Body Build My Com shoot. Man, I love this weather. It is freezing. It is like 25 degrees. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, yeah, that's pretty cold. And then most of y'all are going to be like, oh, he's just a big baby. I live where it's 50 degrees negative. Yeah, whatever. I love this weather, though. So today is going to be back. And looking forward to it because back is my favorite muscle group or one of them to work. So this is going to be fun. That sun ooh, is bright. One eternity later. Day four shooting with bodybuild.com is over and I came back, changed clothes, got all dressed up here uh, because I'm going out to eat tonight at a very nice uh, steak place with uh, some people from bodybuild.com. So we're kind of like having a meeting or a team dinner meeting uh, with two different guys. Uh, looking forward to it because this place is called Barbacoa. It is delicious. I've been there one other time with the owner of ZV Apparel and it's just so good. So that is why I'm all dressed up in my boots and stuff. We're almost halfway done with these shootings. Tomorrow's the last workout and the next week will be all the talking and stuff. So we've gotten through it. It has been super tough. Looking forward uh, to next week. But now we're going to head there and get some dinner. Good morning everyone, today is day five, shooting with bodybuilding.com, the last workout day. Uh, we have to do legs and finish up on biceps. Uh, and then all next week we got five days of doing the commentary over the videos, but right now is the last workout day. So looking forward to it because it's been a tough week. That's a wrap, day five is over. We got done with legs, we did not get done with biceps, we're gonna do that. Uh, next week sometime, but now I'm gonna head back to the house real quick to see Mr. Brady and Shelby. They flew in around 1.30, right now it's 4.30, and I'm just gonna run by the house just for like a second to see them because uh, Bodybuild.com booked me a massage and I really need one right now, so they booked it for 5.30, so I'm just gonna run to the house just to say hi to them and then pretty much leave to go get that massage. Where's my baby? It's your daddy. Where's my baby? It's daddy. Baby Brady! So I ran in there and saw Mr. Brady, and he was not that happy. I guess I wouldn't be happy either if I uh, was woken up from a nap, <laughs> mid-nap. So now I'm at the spa right there it is beautiful here in boise they got it all decorated i've never been to a place that so many christmas lights are just all over the place on businesses and stuff so i'm gonna run in there get a massage for about an hour and then go back uh pick up shelby and miss the brady and i guess we're gonna go find something to eat tonight i'm thinking something good i'm probably gonna have a cheat meal and then i know i'm gonna have a cheat meal uh, for breakfast either tomorrow morning which is Saturday or Sunday because they have a place here that is just so good I love the pancakes it's called Goldie's and it's like downtown uh, Boise so I'm 100% sure we'll be doing that here we go about to get a massage the next time you see me I'm gonna look like I slept for 20 years one hour later yep it looks like I hibernated for like years that felt amazing really good massage oh my gosh it's cold out here I did not bring my jacket Oh my gosh, I need to wake up here. <laughs> oh. going on everyone we are outside at the mall freezing our tails off today we decided we're gonna go shopping mr. Brady is in his stroller all bundled up asleep uh, we got coffee already and uh, just walked around a little bit at this outdoor mall and now we're gonna go head to an indoor mall because we are freezing our tails off we're not used to this weather we're used to Austin where it is 60 degrees no. in December on, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. and here 
I'm guessing it's around 25 today. It You're is wrong. pretty cold. It is 30. 30 degrees, okay. I'm five <laughs> degrees off. Ooh. Austin's 47. Austin's 47. Big difference there. Big difference. Oh my gosh. I got my boots on, got my scarf on, got my little jacket on. I should have like a big coat and some gloves. Like, where are you Shelby's going? bundled. Kind of. I have a coat. Brady's probably gonna wake up any second. So now we're walking up to the second mall. Shelby's freezing her tail off. She's like running. I parked like maybe, I don't know, 100 a yards. Mile. 100 yards from the store. And she's like, try to find somewhere closer. But there's like hundreds of cars here because it's Christmas shoppers going on. So the malls are packed. So I'm like, no, we can't do that. Oh my gosh, an gracious. old little granny car. We're gonna go and shop a little bit. Need to find some Christmas presents. I don't know, for my family, just like odds and ends gifts. I already got all Shelby's. And I got all yours. And she's got all mine, so we don't have to do anything for each other. But do need to find some stuff for my family. She already picked out stuff for hers, so we're good there. Look how people park in Boise. <laughs> There's other parking spots all over the place, but that Jeep just wanted to park right in the middle of like that snow mountain. <laughs> He good? He's good. <laughs> Check out my breakfast. We got five blueberry pancakes, chicken fried steak with egg, hash browns, biscuit, Shelby got French toast, and Brady's just over there chilling. What's going on everyone? Today's Monday. We are filming all the talking for all the workouts and check it out. We just broke for lunch. Look, it is just snowing like crazy outside. It is beautiful. You can't even really tell in this camera. So Shelby and Brady's on their way here. They're gonna spend uh, lunch time with me and I'm looking forward to showing Shelby around the bodybuilding.com headquarters. Told myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide Trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me Answers getting lost So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front And remember that the world's yours Do it how you want You've been waiting here for too long Think it's time for you to move Oh the snow so awesome Get him <laughs> Brady is so excited to visit the headquarters <laughs> so this is the front office. What do you think? I think it's exactly cool. Exactly what you thought? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not really fair though because I've seen it so many times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's me on the videos. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Today is one of the last days I'm working with bodybuild.com today and yesterday we did nothing but commentary work so we're at their studio and all we're doing is talking and my brain is actually hurting right now. 
I'm only like two hours into today and my brain's already just killing me because it's just so much talking over every single workout that I do. I have to do a commentary over it. So we're here pretty much all day long. We might do some video work later on over at the bodybuilding.com's headquarters, but that's only if we get done with this commentary. And we have two more workouts to go, so it's gonna be a long day. And then tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm doing nothing but photos. Uh, so for the most part, this whole program is pretty much done. It's been a lot of work. It's been fun. Uh, but I'm exhausted. I'm ready for this week to be over so I can get back to Austin and kind of spend time there before going uh, to visit family over Christmas holiday. Told myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide Trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me Answers getting lost So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front And remember that the world's yours Do it how you want You've been waiting here for too long Think it's time for you to move on Realize that there's real lies And these real times will be strong I've been waiting all my life And it was right before my eyes Watching all this time Today is the last day for me to work at bodybuild.com, but today is also the day that Shelby and Mr. Brady head back to Austin. Sad day. They were here way longer than what we originally thought, so that was good. So we're unloading them here at the airport. Then I head straight to bodybuild.com to do photographs all day long until five o'clock, and then I'm completely done. So something pretty sad, this might actually be the last time I work out or do any kind of production in the bodybuilding.com gym in this location because they're actually relocating everything down in the basement. They're gonna redo everything. So they're gonna get new equipment. It's gonna be a professional uh, studio gym. So they're gonna have like professional lighting and stuff and companies can come in and do professional videos and it's gonna look a whole lot better than this gym. And I don't see how that's possible because I absolutely love this gym. And I've been coming here for about four years now. I've done tons of productions in this place and it's gonna be sad seeing this place go uh, what is a uh, what does a rest day look like for you how often do you take them are they important yeah rest days are very important when I was younger I didn't take any rest days I would work out seven days a week uh, now I take one day off a week I'll take normally Sundays off and during that time I'm just sitting on the couch watching football or you know going taking a walk with my dog or something no matter rest days whatever you want to do you want to go on a hike cool you want to Watch football? Yeah, Watch rest football. days, uh, I do like an active, I guess an active recovery day. So I'm gonna go out kind of walking around with my dog, taking him out, or go shopping at an outdoor mall where I'm getting some kind of cardio in and some kind of activity in. But for the most part, I'm just, you know, relaxing. So that's a wrap on that 10 day production here at bodybuild.com. I'm leaving, this is so sad. This has been my home for the last two weeks and we just got done. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. It flew by, but at the same time, it was long because it was so hard. But now it is time to say goodbye, and this might be the last time actually seeing this gym in this location because they're relocating. <sighs> so sad. Goodbye, bodybuilding.com. Until next time. I'm gonna miss this Boise weather, all this cold weather, because going back to Austin, it's gonna be around probably 60 degrees. Not wintertime weather, not Christmas weather for sure. So sad leaving this gym, oh my gosh. I just, it's a weird feeling knowing that that could be the last time I'm gonna be in that particular gym, the bodybuilding.com gym, before they uh, redo it and stuff. So strange. Goodbye, bodybuilding.com. I'm gonna miss this place. Oh, I'm not gonna miss this Jeep though.
can't wait to get back to my Lexus. Good morning everyone, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to leave my Airbnb here. It's so sad, this has been my home for two weeks now. And now I'm about to head out, I'm packed all up. What in the world? Bernard? What are you doing here? He's stealing all my candy, what the heck? Dude, we gotta go, we gotta catch our flight, so come on. Well, bye house, until next time. Well, probably not gonna be staying here again, but goodbye. Are you killing it? Are you killing it?